Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for yet another chapter in the saga of deceit and betrayal orchestrated by none other than the master manipulator herself, Meghan Markle, and her obedient puppet Prince Harry. Today we peel back the layers of their carefully constructed facade to reveal the ugly truth lurking beneath. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, let me set the stage for you. Megan, the spotlight-hungry succubus, whose insatiable thirst for fame knows no bounds, makes a surprise virtual appearance in London, purportedly for a noble cause, a new wing of an animal charity named after her late friend. How convenient, isn't it? A perfect opportunity for her to parade her supposed benevolence while conveniently avoiding the scrutiny and backlash she so rightfully deserves. But let's not be fooled by this charade, my friends. This is nothing more than a calculated ploy to maintain relevance and salvage what little remains of her tarnished reputation. And where, might I ask, is her royal lapdog, Prince Harry, in all of this? Oh, fear not for he is dutifully pledged to return to the UK as much as he can, following King Charles' cancer diagnosis. How touching, isn't it? Or perhaps it's just another cunning move in their never-ending game of manipulation. Let's rewind a bit, shall we? Remember when Harry gallantly traveled to London for a face-to-face -face meeting with his father amidst the news of the king's illness? Such a devoted son, one might think. But let's not forget the true reason behind his sudden bout of familial concern. Conveniently timed public appearances to garner sympathy and deflect attention from their ever-growing list of transgressions. And what of Meghan, you ask? Well, she's been busy too, avoiding the UK like the plague. Despite multiple opportunities to return, remember the Well Child Award ceremony? Harry's noble endeavor to support the vulnerable children of the UK? Oh, but Meghan had better things to do, didn't she? Like gallivanting around Europe, basking in the adulation of her dwindling band of loyal followers. And let's not even mention her conspicuous absence during Harry's legal battles against the despicable Mirror Group newspapers. Oh no, the Duchess of Sussex have far more important matters to attend to, like tending to her precious garden in the sun-soaked hills of California, far away from the prying eyes of accountability. But fear not, my friends, for justice has a way of catching up to even the most cunning perpetrators. Meghan may scream in anger as her UK visa is denied, but let it serve as a stark reminder that traitors are not welcomed on British soil. Let her virtual appearances be nothing more than hollow echoes of a bygone era, as she fades into obscurity where she rightfully belongs. As for Prince Harry, the puppet prince who dances to Meghan's tune, let him gallivant across the globe in search of redemption, for he too shall find that the world is not so forgiving of those who betray their own blood. So, my fellow truth seekers, let us not be swayed by the shallow theatrics of Meghan and Harry. Let us instead stand united in our condemnation of their vile machinations and demand accountability for their heinous crimes against the crowd. For in the end, it is not titles or riches that define true royalty, but honor duty, and unwavering allegiance to the values that have stood the test of time. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.